Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Raj Raj, and HP's Helion OpenStack Community Edition uh, came out just a short time ago. That's right. How is that different than just the, the standard HP Helion OpenStack? Uh, HP Helion OpenStack Community is a free distribution, first free distribution from HP. Uh, it was announced on May 7th. Uh, since then, uh, we are very excited about the reception of a lot of folks are downloading and trying it out. Uh, it's a free distribution. That's a number one different, you know, different from uh, the commercial HP Helion OpenStack, and it's uh, it's really a pure distribution. It doesn't have any extra code, uh, any extra software, value-added software from HP. We take what is available in the trunk, stay close to trunks, ship every six weeks. It uh, uh, we make it easy for folks to consume it, deploy and consume. Uh, it's based on triple O. Uh, which is basically OpenStack on OpenStack, using OpenStack to deploy OpenStack, and it's it provides very simple, easy to deploy, uh, you know, distribution for for customers. Yeah. So why would somebody want to try this out? Uh, absolutely, I mean, the OpenStack is at a point where it's uh, it's it's gaining a lot of momentum. It's you know, as you've seen, the growth of OpenStack, and a lot of companies are you know taking uh, note of that. It's People are now want like uh, thinking about hybrid clouds. They want open standards uh, when they think about hybrid clouds. So uh, they want to go with open source software that gives the flexibility, you know, low cost, no vendor lock-in. So uh, we think OpenStack is going to be huge, and it's it's, it's a big bet for HP, and uh, that's the technology uh, we are building our cloud platform. So. Now, one of the complaints that I've heard people make about OpenStack is that it, it, it is fairly difficult to deploy. What have you done to uh, eliminate that barrier? That's exactly right. I mean, uh, if you go to the trunk and try and deploy OpenStack code and deploy a cloud, it, it, it's going to take tons of hours, you know, a lot of manual steps. And that's where I think um, a company like HP can come in and say, okay, I'm going to make it uh, stabilize it, I'm going to test it, harden it, uh, make it super simple for people to try out and, you know, deploy it. Uh, that actually is a key value add. I mean, when you think about cloud, uh, deployment and management are some of the most complex pieces, and uh, that's where I think we, uh, we'll spend a lot of our energy in making it easy. So. Now, uh, this is called a community edition. Is right. there is there a community that goes along with it? Absolutely. I mean, we we wanted to be uh, the reason why I named it community is we really wanted to be a community product. Uh, we release it every six weeks. We release all any uh, extra code that we add is also open sourced. Uh, the discussion is happening in the you know ask our open stack org. We really truly want this to be a community product driven by community. A lot of participation engagement from community. So when a community thinks about open stack, we want them to think about HP Helion open stack community uh, as a default way to go try open stack and you know get an experience of what OpenStack is. So. Now, sometimes when companies release things for free, they, they kind of feature limit them a little bit. Is this is this feature limited in any way? No, there's no feature limits at all. I mean, we uh, we clearly document what what are the components in, in you know comes with it. Obviously, we're not uh, including every single component of OpenStack. Some of the platform pieces, right? But all the infrastructure as a service pieces are included in it. We're not uh, crippling it in any way. You know, uh, uh, we. We, we put out some statements on what is tested and what hardware, what features, you know, all of that, but uh, it's really up to the community to take it and do what they want with it. It's, uh, you know, do it yourself. And, and uh, so how many nodes does this support? It supports, uh, if you, again, we don't put any uh, particular hard limit on anything, uh, but if you are going to buy, uh, you, you're trying out, you decided to buy, uh, deploy this in a, in, a, in a critical workload in production, you decided to buy uh, HP uh, support uh, that comes with this. Uh, it's basically per server per year basis, it's charged per server per year basis. Uh, we support up to 30 compute nodes because I think that's a, we think it's a, uh, that's a sweet spot for most of the companies deploying a small scale private cloud. So. That's 30, 30 nodes is, that's is quite a few. Yeah, it is, yeah. You can deploy, you know, 600 VMs, and that's, uh, that's a pretty good size. All right, well, I think after this video, I'm going to go deploy my own cloud. Thank you so much. Thanks, Raj Raj.